A lot of people have done, they've said, oh, I like, I like black people, I like you. Even though you're mm -hmm. black, I like you. But still, there's something about them, like at my, at my school where I go to school there, there's a place for white people, and there's a place for black people. And I never, ever thought that I would have seen that. I never, I really? have heard of it like in history and those kind of things, but I never thought that I would actually experience it. We have to sit here. And so does somebody tell you we have to sit there? Or no. is that just kind of the accepted? It's the accepted thing, but huh. because the type of person I am, I, I don't accept that because I mean, <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. We're all people. So you sit over there and I sit over there and it's very, very obvious that it's not like we sit here and you sit here. It's we sit here and you sit there kind of yeah. thing. So I told my friends, I don't I don't believe in this. They just kind of accepted it. Well, this is how the school is. This is this is how we, we roll. And I said, <laughs> no, it's not how I roll. So I would go and I would sit with them and you would see everybody just look at me and whisper. And then they would ask you, why are you here? Wow. I said, well, it's a bench. Can I sit on a bench? I do remember being a part of um, dance community. I'm a dancer, I'm a performing artist, and I've grown up dancing with many white people. And um, I, I feel as if I've always felt like a bit of an outsider. Even, I, even though I was very talented, I always felt like I was not a part of the family or, or of the group when I, when I was a, a student. Right. And then if you get involved in their discussions, they just stare at you like, what is she doing? And it makes me feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but I know that it's something I have to do because I don't want that other people that come into the school, that's what they see of, of our school. That's what they mm -hmm. see of schools in Barbados. Have you experienced any racial discrimination based on the color of your skin? Unfortunately, yes, I have. Some girls were plaiting my hair. Mm -hmm. um, as Bajans would call it, it was a car roll. They were car rolling my hair. <laughs> and uh, one of the teachers came out and sent me to the office. And I got to the office and they said, you need to take your hair out. And I really? said, I said, why? Why am I going to take my hair out? I actually like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels quite nice. They're like, no, white girls don't do that. Wow. It's just not right. So I wouldn't really, don't want to say what I did next. I just kind of walked out the school. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do remember, however, feeling disadvantaged while in Paris and in London because of my race. Notably, when, fa when shopping for clothes, I remember being in a store and just being dismissed and wondering why when I was in Paris. And that was my very first experience. I was 22 years old and people had warned me about it, but I, I had never experienced it like that before. I mean, just walking through town, you get a lot of stuff. And I mean, I'll be out somewhere and instead of telling me I go to a shop and I say, what's the price of that shirt? Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll go, $105. I say, yeah, it's a beige endo, so give me the real price. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm sorry, girl, you know, it's just, you real fair and you know, you know how it is. I was like, yeah, I know you try and make money, but no, give me the real price, please. So yeah, I mean, I do have a little bit of those sort of things going on, but I would say that I know how to hold my own, so I don't get it too much. And then later on living in London, I had a similar experience on a train where I would have been sitting in a forbidden area, I think, or in, yeah, in a forbidden area. And I didn't see the sign. I didn't realize that I wasn't supposed to be sitting there. And I was fined for where I, I chose to sit. However, there were two white people that were also sitting with me and the, and the conductor, he totally dismissed them and he chose to find me. When I, when I stood up to him and when I, I, I spoke up against that, I was dismissed. I was asked to calm down. I was told that I could write to the, the, the transport system, which I did. And obviously I was not compensated, but I remember feeling so small and so, so little.